Hello viewers, I am Will Keith and Merry Christmas. I am here doing my first ever Christmas video. Someone sent me a PM suggesting I should do one and I'm only now getting around to it. I should have thought about it years ago. But anyway, I got my Santa hat here, I got the right body type. And the person who requested the video suggested that I shoot some bottles with my bow, so that's what I'm doing. I got four bottles lined up, I got four arrows, so if I miss one, I technically failed and whatever. So anyway, this video is dedicated to Joyce from the UK. And thanks for watching, and here we go. I haven't really practiced archery in a while, and my bow's actually kind of falling apart, but... Whoops. That's... Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. No, that's not right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, whatever, it's close enough. But right, I'm gonna go left to right like a book here, and hopefully everything will work out. One. I think the bottles are a little bit frozen. I heard a pretty good thunk and a crackle when it went through there. Target. Two. Now imagine if these were the heads of zombies. This is some good accuracy here. Fur. I think that went through. Oh, snap, I might have missed. I can't tell from back here. We gotta go. I think I might have got it right on the edge. Alright, cameraman, come over this way for the target. Oh man, that is the closest thing I've ever seen, but no, that's a technical miss. Oh wow, I missed this one pretty good too, look at this, I even noticed that. Alright, so, we got two surviving bottles, I'm going to try to finish them off. Again. They get stuck in there when I'm shooting on the side like this. Close enough. Alright, let's go back to the starting area over there. Oh yeah, I got a set of bottles, don't I? Forgot about that part. Eh, yeah, there goes the hat. Alright, I'm just gonna leave the hat here. Throw it off my aim. Let's use that as my excuse for missing. Alright, walk up over that way. Viewers who watch all the time might notice that I haven't been using this trash can very much recently. It's in bad shape and I've got this table that I've been using. Much more stable and much more better. Alright. Oh, come on! Alright, that's one. That was a hit. I heard that. Oh, look at how I got this one. I'm right through the tip. Alright, let's see if I can pull this one out of here without any trouble, and I'll give it one last go. Alright, back here. Hand me the camera for a sec. There needs to be some kind of video game where you can use an arrow as a melee weapon, just start poking things with it. Alright, here you go. About six months ago, I would have been able to get this in one go easy. I'm gonna go to start practicing again. Target. Ah, 
I hit something. Oh, I got it. Yes. Okay, so what was that? Uh, seven shots to get four bottles, I think. Close enough. So. Merry Christmas to everyone. Thanks for watching. Oh, wait. Let me add one more thing to my video here. This is the Smith & Wesson Spring Assist Black Ops Folding Knife. Got this for Christmas. It is a damn good folding knife. Uh, I'm not going to say it was a surprise because I kind of picked it myself and people knew I've been wanting this for a long ass time. But anyway, it's uh, one of the highest quality switch... Not really switch blade. Uh, highest quality spring assist knives that I've seen. You just pull on the thing on the back and it flies open. Real quick emergency access type deal. Very sharp blade, Smith & Wesson. They're mostly known for guns, but they also make some good knives. Let's see if they have any... Yeah, you do. Now, this isn't going to be gloriously cutting bottles in half because the blade is kind of sharp, but it'll give them pretty good nicks. Or not. <laughs> That got it. When you stab, it goes through it like butter. Cutting with a small knife, though, it just doesn't get that weight behind it, you know? Let me try that again without the hat. There we go. The thing with cutting with knives, I'm not quite sure why, but when I cut like this, it almost always goes through, but when I spring it around this way, I almost always fail with that. Same with knives, machetes, swords, I can cut whatever way because the swords are fucking katana, you know? But Look at that. Cut so cleanly that it's barely bleeding. I mean, you can see it bleeding, but... I got one more bottle over here. This one looks kind of frosty. That one almost got all the way through. That was a good one. Okay, so you just click the thing, push it over, and click it shut. Also, this knife has a you can see this little switch right here. You flick that up. Oh, my hands are wet. I can't flick. There we go. You flick that up. You can't open it. Flick it down. Opens easy. Lock this. Now you can't close it. So if you're going to be engaging in whatever kind of combat or utility work with the knife, you click this thing and it won't close no matter what. You can smack the blade like this. It will stay open and I absolutely love that feature. So, now I guess that actually is the end of this video. Merry Christmas again. And see you next time. Have a good day.